So this is uh, arriving now at Surco. Just uh, came down the bus. And honestly, this is worth exploring more. I need to make a separate video exploring Surco. Bit to Surquillo, but it's a little bit different than Surco. So, it looks pretty nice. And yeah, definitely you're never gonna see a tourist over here in this area. But to me, it looks pretty decent. And definitely I'm coming back. Uh, to explore it more probably on a bicycle or a motorbike or something like that Yeah, heavy traffic here and Yep Finally, uh, drive to Pentarmosa. Nosotros compromiso. Nuestro. Nuestro. Ours. Ours. So, the trip up here, it took about 40 minutes and about three buses. I highly recommend. Um, speak Spanish <laughs> to do this and it is like more mostly spot I feel like it's um, for locals than it is for tourists I'm tired of just being in one spot uh, so that's why I'm start like looking around and exploring the beautiful country of Peru so yeah we'll see so these they call them moto taxi I've seen them in some countries and hi I am I'm seeing them and also I'm not sure those of us I think that is a straight dog ah it looks sick another moto taxi very interesting to see very nice I've seen them probably I think I've seen them in Yemen I've seen them in Egypt which is basically a motorcycle but they also have another version that I don't see here, but yeah. 
I'll try to cover more of the stuff. And over here, by the way, one of the benefits of getting out of the tourist areas, everything is pennies on the dollar. Pennies on the dollar. And no, if you're not looking for drugs, not looking for prostitution, you should be fine anywhere you go. That's my rule of thumb. And also, common sense goes a long way. Don't, don't be stupid. Just don't be freaking stupid. Yep. Let's cover more. That's another Ferrari. It's beautiful. It's basically a motorcycle with like a hinge in the back. It's very cool. We got some uh, dry food. Enjoying the, the city of... What is it? Punta Hermosa. It's very nice. So all this cost me like two dollars. Cost of uh, Puka Hermosa. And also here they have uh, in this little city. Seems to be very nice. It's on the beach, and they do have hostels here as well. I don't see any presence of tourists here. And um, I don't know, it's something to know. We're exploring more and more. So I wanna get you guys a good, um, it looks very, very, very nice. All I see here is a lot of uh, kind of pawn shop-ish, cafe, um, restaurants, uh, very chill, laid back. Yeah, I do recommend getting here, uh, either a taxi or get a car. And uh, maybe get a car. Very nice. This street, that's not the name to street, you know. Can imagine this place at night, light up. Mm -hmm. Pizza. Pizza. I smell coffee. Cafecito. Nice amount of cafe. I wonder. I will do some questionnaire for uh, information like how much a hotel over here would cost. I can't imagine to be super expensive. As you guys see, it's kind of like, it's We're okay. In hmm? We're in There's apartments here. Like I can't imagine this place to be super expensive, but we'll see, I'll, I'll do, I will ask a, uh, Decent looking hotel, I'm not going for the five stars. It's something super expensive, just to get an idea. Like you guys know me, I do not like Airbnb for the simple fact you can check it out before you get in. And I had so many nightmares with Airbnb while traveling, so yeah. And again, just like always, if you have a question, Leave in a comment, and I respond usually within 24, 48 hours. To any of your concerns, questions, and let's discover the world. Getting close to the beach. Ceviche, limon. Citreo que más te gustan? Yeah, those prices are unheard of. Unheard of in now. Uh, those prices are unheard of in Miraflores. Unheard of. I expect to spend three times that. 
in Miraflores or touristy areas. So let's ask for the prices here. That's kind of like the closest to be to the beach, which the beach is right there. We're gonna find out. The question asked this place. Um, it is a pretty fancy place. It's almost like a five hotel, five star hotel, overlooking the beach. Literally right by the beach. Very nice. Got a restaurant inside. It costs about 288 which uh, comes up to approximately um, just under $100, about like $80 for a night over here, which honestly not bad, not bad, not bad. Like this is cheaper than Motel 6 in the US or Motel 8, not bad at all. But I do recommend coming to these places either with some Spanish or know some Spanish to come to these places. I do not recommend coming alone here. Um, and if you do, uh, you can use, um, have a trusty tra taxi because I'm not sure how to get back from here. I'm not sure if uber is, is readily available here or not and I, I if i if i have to guess i don't think so i wouldn't guess that uber is so i would have like a taxi that i trust that i talk to and uh, keep them in touch and uh, and uh, just in case if i need uh, a way back I have it and I'm sure like places like for example worst comes to worst I usually do this if I can't find taxi I just go to a fancy hotel and just ask them if they have a taxi I'm sure they do have people want to go back to the airport or stuff like that so so far so good and for those who are asking about the uh, the protest not on the site it seems like the issue mostly on in the Silva, not in the outskirts, the Costa part of uh, Lima. So, so far, so good. Ponta Hermosa, salud. Very beautiful beach from here. The first, uh, And I'm gonna explain things about uh, Metaflores uh, Beach. Go on, Metaflores. It's, it's too rocky. Uh, one of the reason <laughs> I'm seeking a different one. So I'm still like looking at it from a distance. So we'll come down and see, have a more idea about it. So also. Um, this place uh, for um, skateboarding, not skateboarding, skiing, Puente Hermosa, oh my gosh. So let's go down and see. This uh, restaurant also a reasonable price, like you can get a ceviche with uh, with uh, with cerveza for about fifty for one person. Kind of like it seems like to be the standard price over here for a lot of uh, the restaurants, which is extremely reasonable in comparison to uh, Mera Flores. Um, also, more places. I wonder if there's Airbnb in this area, but I see a lot of signs and but very, very, very nice and chill back. Like what, that's one of the reason I love exploring because you can go and find out some places before that hasn't been spoiled by tourists. Um, 
like this place for example I didn't see a single tourist here at least I haven't seen anybody who speaks English yeah I've seen people who look white or look other ethnicities but none of them spoke uh, English I've never seen anybody speaking English here so yeah Hermosa. And also more surfing. I feel like a lot of the beaches here are for surfing. Waves. Watch this. Wonder what that is. I think it was like a restaurant or something. Wow. More tanning session today and now we don't. It's the same design as like Mera Flores and also on a mountain. And then you come down, but not as and here you see a tsunami warning which you can imagine you live here uh, same it's not as fancy I would say as uh, Mera Flores but it's very beautiful like it's, this is nice I would definitely look into a reasonable but very small town, like I have to say, walk through. It's very small town, doesn't have the uh, the variety that you have in uh, Mera Flores. But always don't be afraid to explore. By the way, I've seen these designs uh, on the edges. And uh, same in uh, Middle East. They do the same damn thing. So you don't climb into the house. Anyways, back to real life. Uh, coming down, getting closer and closer to the beach. Ponta Hermosa is definitely Hermosa. These apartments. Wow, those are nice apartments. I'm sure, I'm sure, like if you just walk up, be nice and ask, they will give you an apartment over here. And you, especially for expended, extended amount of time, maybe you can find a place for a reasonable price, like maybe six, seven hundred a month. I won't be surprised, to be honest. And here is the thing about these uh, 
beaches. Wow, the waves are pretty strong, but beautiful day. The sun is not strong, it's pretty cloudy, nublado. So, about to camp somewhere here, enjoy the beautiful scenery of Ponta Hermosa. So exploring more Punta Hermosa, which means uh, the point, I think the point, the beautiful point or something. <sighs> Trying to cover as much, it's a small town. Um, so I'm trying to cover as much as possible. So the area that I came from it was kind of a resort. That's where the hotel that I asked for. There's another hotel also close by. Night is about 150 soles. That comes up to about $30. A little bit over $30, about $35. By here, like, and I find that to be extremely good deal. Um, and those are one of the hidden gyms that I'm trying to like let you guys know about. Uh, it's okay neighborhood, okay over here, and definitely untapped by tourism. <laughs> yeah. Mirador Anali, and here's like some swings over here let's cover this Anali the right is not clear but here I have a beautiful view of that place Extremely weird guys like I'm trying to I'm not trying to ghost you guys out but we found a dead penguin over here over here <laughs> like penguin usually it's only in a yeah I'm not trying to ghost you guys out but it's not supposed to be here like it's not supposed to be anywhere near here but yeah, one of the things that you see, I mean, you travel, you learn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And it was like a new city, maybe you should be considering. I definitely give it five, I'll give it, I'll give it nine out of 10. Uh, it's perfect for, for like beaches, if you like a beach, like a nice beach that is not actually too far from Miraflores. I definitely highly recommend this area and it's a beautiful place um, the winds are a little bit strong than I like them to be um, the waves it's more like a, it's, it's 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 great for like um, surfing it is incredible for surfing and uh, based on how the uh, the waves are pretty strong I, I'm not a big fan of Miraflores, uh, uh, Costa Verde, I'm not a very big fan of uh, the beaches over there. It's too rocky here, like it's like you see it's sands, basically, it's a lot softer. So. If you guys have any question and anything that I can help with, make sure you leave them in the comment below. And I normally respond within 24 to 48 hours. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Peace.